hello 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 friends welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is christine and this is all things joyful today's joyful video is um i'm going to share what i'm packing for labor and delivery and what i'm taking with me to the hospital um i've been watching a lot of those videos on youtube just seeing what other moms pack some is like their, their first time mom like me others are like second third time mommies so they know better they know <laughs> they know what they actually use and what they don't actually need um some moms mentioned that the hospital do provide a lot of these items for you so you don't really need to pack too much you can literally just show up have your baby and you'll be well taken care of but um other moms like overdo it they they act like they're going on vacation <laughs> you know they want to be comfortable which i understand you know it's a big moment it's a joyful occasion you want to be comfortable you want to have some of the comfort that you would probably typically have at home um so me i'm kind of like in between i want to be comfortable but at the same time i know that this is not a vacation shit is about to get real so um yeah i'm trying not to pack too much but at the same time i do want to be comfortable um and I do want to pack uh, my necessities. So without further ado, let me show you guys what I'm planning to bring with me to the hospital. I want to share with you guys the bag that I'll be using. Um, I know some moms use the rolly carry-on bags. Um, and I thought about doing that too. And I may still do that. But for now, I think because I don't want to pack too much, I think I'm just bringing this bag. Um... It's by Stella and Dot. I've had this bag for a very long time. I always, I often, um, you know, it's like a weekender bag. And I do also have the matching wallet. So I feel like it would be good for me to pack my important um, documentations in here, like my ID and my insurance card. So that's the first thing that I am going to include in this wallet. And this is the bag that I'm using, sort of like a duffel bag. Um, yeah, I mean, my husband can carry that around. I mean, I've been carrying this belly <laughs> for a few months now. He can carry that around. I don't need to get a, a carry-on luggage, even though that might be a little bit more convenient. So anyway, going to use that bag. And actually gonna like just try to pack up as I do this video I think that makes sense um the first thing that I'm bringing is pajamas and I do I do I did have some lighter color and nicer stuff but from the videos that I've watched and the recommendation is that like it's gonna be bloody it's gonna be it's a hospital so you don't want to bring your white nightgown, your white um, robe, and because it might get ruined. So I'm packing this um, cotton, stretchy um, pajama set, pants. That's number one. Packing that on the top has buttons so you know for nursing purposes it would work good i could wear my um nursing bra under this and be good it's long sleeve it's cozy yeah so this is one pajama that i'm bringing um second set of pj that i'm bringing is this little leopard one also pants very cozy very comfy um you know i'm expected to deliver in the fall the weather has already started to get cool so um i want to be comfortable um this is a second pj set again the top is 
long sleeve button down perfect for nursing purposes um so yeah bring in that one um i am thinking about bringing a nicer pair of pjs just in case i want to like take a nice photo with the baby i have this victoria's secret one um so I think I'll bring this one as well. So that makes three pairs of PJs. Cause you know, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be at the hospital for a day, two days, three days, who knows? So I think three pajamas, um, will do the trick so yeah so all in all guys i got these three pj sets that i am packing with me this and this and then this and that i think for clothing purposes these three should do the job um And the duffel bag it goes and then um i do have this little gray robe i figure i will pack this up as well um you know when i'm laboring or whatever i'll have the hospital robe on but if i want to be a little bit more cozy more warm i can wear this little gray robe so i'm bringing that as well bringing that as well um i'm bringing some cozy socks i got a set of three um but i'm only bringing two i figured two should work dark colors i think that's perfect i'm bringing my bonnet um as you can tell, my hair is not done right now. I just want to do my hair one last time for labor and delivery, do a protective hairstyle and be done with it and have that styling for a good one to two months. So right now I'm just like leaving my hair, letting it be. Um, yeah, I'm not really doing much to it, but even though I'll have a protective styling, I do have this silk bonnet, two-sided um that i'm planning to bring i just throw that on and call it a day and speaking of hair items i'm also bringing a few scrunchies um so yeah scrunchies and my bonnet i think that takes care of the hair situation you know um I have a nursing bra that I'm packing. I also have a black nursing tank top, but it's so comfortable that I've been wearing it. So I need to wash it and make sure I pack it. But so far I keep this in my bag just in case we gotta go right now. Sis is ready. At least I got this one. Um, and I also have bought some, you know, grandma undies. <laughs> nothing special just some big grandma on these i bought a pack washed them already and i'm bringing like three three and then this fourth one undergarment for undergarment purposes i know people don't even really show their panties on youtube but anyways <laughs> i'm packing these just in case and i know um the di the hospital will give you like the adult size underwear type diapers and i actually also bought this pack myself and i may bring i think i am going to bring a couple of these um let me do that right now you know just like maybe two two of these 
two to three of these. I'm gonna bring two. Um, put it in here in the little Ziploc bag that has the undies. Put that in here. Just in case I don't love what the hospital gives, I have my own. So yeah. So this has my nursing bra, my granny panties, period, aka period panties. We're all women here. <laughs> um, and some of those disposable, always classic disposable undies. So that's going in here in the hospital bag um another thing i'm bringing is my you know postpartum waist trainer um thingy that i bought um i have no idea if you know what my birth plan will be like and if i'll be able to use it but i bought it I'm bringing it, so that's that. <laughs> that is that. Packing that up. Dang, this bag is getting a little heavy, but yeah. Another thing I'm packing is my flip flops for the shower. If I shower at the hospital, um, I. I always travel with a flip-flop anyway. I never put my feet <laughs> in, um, you know, those showers have seen a lot, I'm sure. I mean, it's kind of like, I'm sure they clean it, they sanitize it, but it's still a public space. Lots of lots of people have used that space, so definitely don't want to go in the shower with my bare foot. So have a pair of these Old Navy flip-flops that I am packing. I'm actually going to put them in a Ziploc bag as well. This is how I typically travel with my flip knots. And I'll do the same here. Yep, packing this up. I have a little small pack of Lysol. And a small pack of Kleenex gonna put in like the side pockets of this bag okay talk about going home outfits um i don't really care too much about my going home outfit i mean it is what it is we don't even live that far from the hospital but i am bringing some legging tights um these are from Forever 21. I got these little leggings. Um, Cause I hear you wanna feel like, after you give birth, you wanna feel like secure, keep things in place. So I have these black tights. Um, I have this shirt, you guys. I've had this shirt in my closet for however long. I can't, I'm ashamed how long I had this in my closet for. And I'm finally going to get to wear it. I mean, do you understand how big and huge this is for me? This shirt says, I can't keep calm. I'm a lawyer and a mom. Woohoo! <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna just wear a t-shirt some leggings um and my sneakers i think i'm gonna wear my sneakers to the hospital and that's what i'll wear coming home and i have a sweatshirt to go over that t-shirt and we'll be ready to come home and bring baby home god willing god willing um, so yeah, this is my going home outfit. So excited. Packing that right up in here. Yeah, this bag is getting, it's getting big. I see why people use the little rolly suitcases. <laughs> okay, 
next item so this was a result of me watching too many youtube videos <laughs> All these mamas claiming, oh, the hospital give you a peri bottle, but this is the best one. The Freedom Mom is the best. Um, you know. Let me let me show you guys this. This is my issue with this. <laughs> So I ordered this on Amazon and they're like, oh, this is great because, you know, you can do the upside down thing and whatever. This bottle is so tiny. Why is it so small? Like, I, I need more water than that. Like, I thought all the videos that I watched made it seem like it was a much bigger bottle than it really is. This bottle, look at that. This is the size of the bottle. Compare them to my finger, guys. This is it. Like, I can literally go like this. This is insane. Anyway, I feel that this little bottle is super tiny, tiny. But I already bought it, so it is what it is. Um, I may just leave it at home and use whatever the hospital gives. Uh, and then I'll leave this for my post at home for my postpartum journey. But um, yeah, I, I totally fell for the YouTube Mama's recommendations, and I bought it. But I feel like it's super tiny. They should have made it a little bit bigger than this, because who wants to keep you? You know, if you're going to the bathroom. You want to just have a bigger bottle to have enough water to cleanse yourself and not have to like wait and refill and it's just, it's annoying. Another purchase based on my, my watching YouTube videos is the Earth Mama nipple butter. And so I am going to... Um, Bring this with me this was also super tiny compared to it looks a lot bigger than um in the videos that i've seen than what i actually received but it's cool it is what it is so it's earth mama organic nipple butter this is great for breastfeeding mummies um so yeah i plan to breastfeed so i'll be bringing this with me to the hospital so yeah these were the two purchases that i made um from watching youtube videos <laughs> on what to pack for the hospital um the next thing guys is my toiletry bag and i'm using this bag i've had this bag Oh, wow. I think I gave my sister, Juju, if you're watching, I think I gave you this one year for, as a gift, as part of a gift. Um, yours, I'm sure, is probably gone and destroyed. But I had bought two at the time, and I kept one for myself for traveling purposes. But I never used it until now. Now I've found the perfect use for it. So anyway, I have my toothbrush right here. I have my toiletry items gotta have my dove my dove soap should I, should I show you guys what's in here actually let me let me let me kind of just show you guys real quick um i have my dove soap my little deodorant my little toothpaste and um some this little face cleanser neutrogena little body wash in case I shower and um, some q-tips because my husband and I were obsessed with q-tips we use them like every day <laughs> so some q-tips and then I have a little shower cap um, yeah so that's what I have packed in here let's see hope I can fit everything back the way it was Okay. Yeah. 
And then I have these little um, sample size face cream from Mario Badescu. Um, herbal hydrating serum, Halloween. I just decided to drop them in here, so just in case, you know, I need a little real face and do a little skincare while I'm in the hospital. <laughs> so that's what's in this pouch. Then in the toothbrushes here. And then in this section, I have I'm bringing a little bit of makeup just a little bit this little concealer little mascara little eyeshadow i got this little palette from dollar tree you guys um this little mascara a little concealer and some lip gloss oh i got two lip glosses i got the nyx and then i have this um Essay louder little gloss and then I have this little Milani face powder um, and that's it I just need to I need to pack a little powder brush and makeup sponge and then I think yeah and then I put that little thingy right here the makeup in this pouch okay put the makeup in this little section right here this last little section here I have um, a little makeup wipe facial wipe <laughs> um, I have a little hand lotion L'Occitane I have my little Vaseline. That's what I'll use as lotion on my body and a little sample perfume. Yeah. Just in case I want to smell good. <laughs> like, I'll be really thinking about that. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's in my little... That's everything that I'm bringing in my total tree bag guys little total tree bag and boom in here and um so I'm told that the hospital sometimes you get like a lot of freebies and things from the hospital. So I'm going to pack a tote bag. Isn't this cute? This is my hashtag mom life. <laughs> I found this little bag. I had to buy it. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to bring this one because I definitely don't want to get this dirty at the hospital so i love it i bought it for to bring to the hospital but now i'm like mm, maybe i don't want to get this all dirtied up at the hospital instead i may just use this bag this additional little bag um to pack um baby's going home outfit i have to pack a few things for the baby baby's going home outfit um, maybe one or two little onesie, a little baby blanket, and a passy. That's it. That's what I'm packing for baby. And, um, and yeah, guys, I think that's it. Like, um, bringing this as my little extra bag to bring the extra goodies home. As well as packing baby's going home outfit in here. Um. And then the hospital bag is all set. <laughs> Woo! Wow. So, I mean, I have a few weeks to go. What do you guys think about what I'm packing and what I'm bringing? 
Um, do you think I should be bringing more? I sh or I should be bringing less? Am I bringing just enough in the basic necessities? Um, yeah, I feel like I'm good. Um, the only other thing I think I might want to bring is a towel because, I don't know, a towel and a blanket from home, a small little, maybe a small little throw blanket, a towel, and I hear sometimes people bring a pillow. I don't know. I just feel like that's so much. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Should I pack? Should I also pack a towel? a blanket and bring a pillow to the hospital um yeah if i'm bringing those things then maybe i will need to switch up to a rolly bag because <laughs> then it's, it, it would really seem like we, we're bringing in a lot of stuff so yeah i'm not packing anything for the husband he's an adult he can pack his own things He's last minute, so he'll probably wait the day, the minute of to grab himself what he needs. Or I don't even think it registers in his mind, really, that he needs to pack anything. I may try to help him out, pack an extra toothbrush in my bag. <laughs> and a t-shirt for him, just in case. And, you know, undergarment. But, um, yeah. I only have one baby, guys. <laughs> I only have one baby. I can't be responsible for an adult, another adult. I can barely be responsible for myself right now. Um, yeah, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment. Leave me um heart emoji leave me something guys like hello <laughs> let me know if i'm packing all the necessities let me know if there's anything else you think i should be packing for the hospital um definitely feel like it's it's look look at the belly guys it's it's a lot like recording this video takes so much energy <laughs> out of me and i'm in so much pain i have so much pressure right here guys um and we still have a few more weeks to go but you know baby can arrive at any time so i'm really glad that i at least have this little bag pack um and ready to go so when it's time to hit the road we are all set to welcome my little bundle of joy so thanks thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video peace love blessing and lots of joy <laughs>